Eh, I'll see if this video comes out. If it does, it'll be pretty sweet. It's still pretty low light though. Yeah, exactly, dude. Freaking gorgeous. And behind us, man, ah, oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Man, what, are you doing, Steve? what? Hey, mind your business. This is my kayak. You stay in your kayak, man. Uh, yep, yep. I'm I'm trolling it. It worked last time. Hey, Pete. That's Frank. Frank, Pete. Hey, Frank, nah. Just pretty stuff, man. Just pretty stuff. Yeah, man. Look at that sky. You good, bro? I hear you rummaging for. <laughs> God, that sky is gorgeous. Well, here's the morning brief for you. Here at Blackwater Wildlife Refuge. Chasing snakehead, no surprise there. <laughs> but yep, right now I'm trolling a whopper plopper 90. I also have tied on a popping frog. And aside from that, I've got the chatterbait ready to go. Top water is gonna be my first shot. If they don't wanna come up, I'll throw the chatterbait, but I really want that top water bite. I'm seeing plenty of action, it looks beautiful. I think the high for today is in the mid 80s. The low is I think right at 70. The water temp feels warm to the touch, so I'm guessing it's at least mid to high 70s. Probably closer to 80, but at least mid to high 70s. And we'll go from there. I'm gonna cast through this stump field and see if there's anything in here. Fish on! Fish on! Large mouth! Best to go with the lip grippers on this because there's definitely some nice sized, very sharp trebles on there. All right, go just come here. Come here. Turn around. Turn around. Gotcha. There she is. Got that hyperpigmentation, those black splotches. And there she is. First fish of the day. I'm going to guess and say two and a half. Let's get the scale. Get her some oxygen. Oh. What's up? Get out of here. How big? Yeah, dude. Oh, my scale's not working. <laughs> oh, you're just taking him space now, scale. You son of a gun. All right, let's get the picture then. I was just thinking to myself, this stump field doesn't look good for snakes but it definitely looks good for bass. And just like that, there she is. All right, beautiful. Smash the plopper, look at the shoulders on her. She is not hurting for food. All right, you. There she goes. Oh. I cannot believe how close the herons allow me to get here. I bet you this is the heron that was chasing me last time. Yeah, go on and get. Go on now. Go on now. Look at him. He's thinking about it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I knew it was you. You clown. Remember you from last time. Prick. There he goes. Just spooked him. Sitting here the whole time. That's interesting. There he is. Fish on. 
That's a snake. That's a snake. Snake on the chatter. There she is. Oh, 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 oh. Little beauty. I'm going to let you go. Just let me get your picture. Just let me get your picture. Damn it. Nope. Stop it. Nope. Nope. Hey, you see him, Pete? Yeah, what you got? Snake? Yep, little guy. Nice. There you go. Crawfish color chatterbait. Uh, double tail white trailer. Right along the shoreline. So Frank's got his first one, and it's a big one. Do you all ready to dispatch him? Got him. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. dude he that chatter bait, bro. Yeah, I, I just got one on the chatter. Right at that log right there. Yep. Yeah, get your grippers, I got your picture. It's a rush, ain't it, man? <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna go on the other side of you so I can get you with the light facing you. Yeah, but I'll, I'll get you one vertical and then just do that, then just do one horizontal. And there we go. Turn them sideways a little bit more. Yeah, got her, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude. What I did, what I changed it up on this time, is I, is I let it drop, yep. and then I popped it, rolled it, and then killed it. Yeah, that, that, that's... Caught it. I thought I was snagging on the bottom. You probably saw me. I mean, I, I thought you were snagging on the bottom. I the up, man. I was like, oh, God, and then it was like... <laughs> Dude, he swallowed it. Oh man, I, oh, I wish the camera would have been on for that strike, dude. God, he hammered it. It's a monster, too. Yeah, on the Whopper. It's a monster, bro. Oh, Jesus! Whew! God! Man, when I tell you she hammered it, holy crap! Ugh. Get a good angle on you so I can dispatch you. Let me get to shore before this blows me into the middle while I'm trying to get him off because that's going to take a minute oh my god he's still going that's a tough fish man and there she is shallow vibration and noise making if a lure has that it should do just fine Fish on! Got him! Fish on! Now nah, we're getting into him. Now nah, we're getting into him. I knew this was frog in water. Look at it. Nice one. Not a monster, but a nice one. There's the other girl. Yes. Well, it's not a bad day. I have two on the stringer, but the wind is starting to blow out here. So I'm starting to seek those shorelines that are shielded from this wind. Otherwise, it's gonna blow me around the whole time I'm trying to fish. I can't say what the top producer is for snakehead today, because <laughs> I've now caught one on all of my lures. I got one on the whopper flopper, one on the frog, and one on the chatterbait. <laughs> but I'm reasonably sure that there's a snakehead in the jungle vicinity. Let's see if he's feeling froggy. Oops. It's not the best of casts.
Ooh. You missed it. I called it though, didn't I? I said there was one here. Damn. That was her. If they go for it and miss it, and you have the self control not to have jerked it out of the strike zone, they'll have to come back for a second, third time. I've had them come back as many times as like, you know, five or six. It just, uh, it's really nerve wracking, but you got to exercise that self control, keep it in the strike zone for the maximum amount of time. But I don't think that one's coming back. Oh, there he was. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh, I played you like a fiddle. <laughs> That's a decent one. That is a decent one. Nice one, yeah. That's a stringer fish. There she is. Nice fish. Probably about 20, maybe 21 inches. Look at the back on her, though. Solid fillets. Absolutely solid. And that's the, that's... When you're on your way back here, on the left side, before you get to this canal, there is a... Ooh! Comes... Got him! Got him! Got him! Yes! Tom, he just missed one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I sent him to the back of the creek. We had about 50 feet left. Yep. I sent him down there and told him to do it by himself. I don't... Uh, you know, he's only got one. I give him the best opportunity. Steve just landed one while I was on the phone. Ah. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad one. I'd probably put him about 22, 23. That's good eating. Yep, good eating size. All right, let me get off here and handle this fish before it knocks my phone in the water or something. All right, man. All right, bro. I just spooked a big one. Cast it right on top of him with a chatter bait. Let's go back in with the frog and see if I can coax him into biting. Now, he spooked off of his structure, but who knows, maybe he'll come back shortly. He was right about there. Oh! Got him! Got him! Yes! Don't worry, little fella. You, I'm putting back. Not that he's that little. I mean, look at him. That's not a bad fish. Probably put around 21, 22. Yep, that's the one I spooked. Spooked him with the chatter. And six landed. There he goes. I think I got her. That's when I get these hooks out of you, girl. There you go. There you go, pretty girl. Aren't you gorgeous? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and you smell glorious. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Let's see how you feel about getting released. Let go. There you go. Hey, how's it going, bro? Uh, not bad. I actually just got uh, a Mondo yellow perch a couple minutes ago. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. good, good deal. Oh, fish on. Fish on. All right, later. All right, little guy. There she is. Another little beauty. Get this hook out of you. I need a lure. Ah, oh, you beauty, you. I never know how much I love you guys. Go on now. Snakehead and striper on one stringer. I love this place, man. I, I, I want a disclaimer. I did not catch this strike. <laughs> That's an honest man. <laughs> so from that point on, we did catch a few more fish. <laughs> the day wasn't over, but we got most of the big ones out of the way. <laughs> Another one here for Pete. So we had Pete out there for his first time going for snakes, and Frank out here as well. And we managed to get them both 
on Snakeheads, man, so I call it a success. <laughs> it's not always the case you take somebody else out fishing for the first time for a certain species and have that kind of, you know, just resounding success, man. <laughs> yeah, the bite was pretty good today, though. It wasn't quite as fire as uh, my last video showed, but I think I landed nine on the day, which is not a bad day of snakehead fishing, man. Look at that stringer. Thing of beauty. <laughs> but yeah, if you do come out here, you do keep fish, uh, please utilize them. If you don't want them yourself, give them away. They're great table fare, but every once in a while I come out here and see snakehead on the shoreline just dead. I and mean, it's such a shame. Such a damn shame. Such a waste. But, anyway. <laughs> no, good day on the water. Couldn't get one on the fly rod. That wind picked up a little bit too quickly. But, I already told you where we are. If you missed that part, you gotta rewind it. <laughs> not gonna say that one again. <sighs> but yeah, the year is now winding down. Cool weather is on the way. Won't be too much more snakehead fishing to be done. But yeah, there's Frank with his. Ah, couldn't ask more for the day. <laughs> but yeah, I covered a lot of tips and tricks in here. But if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And y'all have a good one.